if you're doing something similar to what I do, talking on YouTube or Twitch or any other streaming platform about video games, you not only need to be able to capture your video game, you need to capture you as well. And that is where the folks from Rockware come in with their new mini all-in-one, what they're calling a video soundbar. This is a 1080p camera designed to make it easy for you to get great quality audio and video when you are streaming or capturing footage, whether you are on a Zoom call or anything along those lines. So what we are going to do is we're gonna give you a look at this and we're gonna show you some of the footage that this captured. Hey everyone, Gary here from Rock Solid Productions. Thanks for stopping by and checking out what we have going on here. I really do appreciate it. And I do also wanna thank Rockware for going ahead and sending us one of these to check out. I think you're gonna be impressed with what we see here. So here we have the Rockware Mini All-in-One Video Soundbar. I think it's interesting, they're not calling it a webcam, they're calling it a video soundbar. So I'm hoping that it emphasizes both the audio and the video with this. Uh, basically just have a, a look at the system here on the front. On the side you can see it has a full frequency speaker, TOF autofocus, three amp algorithm microphone, three A algorithm microphone, 1080p, HD field of view is 90 degrees. And here you can see it's an integrated design with 1080p HD USB video camera. Again, 90 degrees field of vision. Uh, EPTZ, not sure what that is. Uh, TOF autofocus, three meter voice pickup range microphone, four times digital zoom, full frequency speaker, 82 decibels. Not bad. Start an online meeting anywhere, portable design. It is only USB 2.0, so that is something to be aware of. Plug and play, built in privacy cover and 360 degree rotating bracket. Nothing really on the back of the box here besides a QR code. Nothing really on that side, except for the fact that it is compatible with Windows, Mac, and Android. So let's go ahead and open this up. So we have your instruction quick start guide. Your silica gel. Okay, so this was one thing I was wondering. It looks like this is the USB cable. It's detachable. I like that. Camera itself. Actually, it felt like it had some good heft to it. Now, just real quick here on the inside. From 2015, Rockware has abundant experiences of manufacturing with 200 patents and designing cameras. That's impressive. Microphones and terminals. Rockware is always devoted to helping you meet easier online. Rockware.net, where you can learn more. So let's take a look at the camera here that's actually that's a pretty decent size um, and then you do have your speaker here it looks like a little LED uh, when I first saw this I thought of the bad robot uh, from JJ Abrams movies and, and the uh, the face of the robot there that's what it kind of reminds me of does this pivot it sure does and tilts awesome so you get a pivot side to side and a tilt front to back uh, USB-C for your connectivity, I like that. And then your privacy cover, there it is open, and there it is closed. It has the little plastic doodad on here to help protect the lens during shipment. Get over here, you. And then I like this a lot too. So you can take this and mount it two different ways. So first of all, it does have a standard screw mount. So like if you wanted to use it on a tripod or even like what I'm using here, it'll work just fine. Uh, but then it also has like a rubber footing here that you can use this to basically clamp on the top of your monitor, kind of like that, if that was the top of your monitor. So good to see that, I'm digging that. Nice beefy thick cable too, that's really, really nice. And looks to be at least six feet, if not longer. And pretty simple slip sheet here, so uh, does confirm number two is uh, an indicator, not an LED, so good to know there. Number one is a speaker, two is your indicator, three is your camera lens. Number four is the microphone. Number five, TOF. Uh, the microphone, uh, number two is number six. So there is a microphone on the front right here. And then one up top towards the back, back in there. So that's good. Um, walks you through all the features and everything. Let's take a look at the uh, audio algorithm information. The built-in audio 3A algorithm and full duplex mode adjust the high and low volume of the balance and suppress the noise automatically while in voice collection to meet your needs for loud and clear communications. 
Landscape and portrait mode uh, supports one key landscape and portrait switching output to meet the needs of various landscape and portrait live scenes. So if you're making YouTube shorts, if you're making TikTok videos, you can use this in portrait mode. That's good to see. Built-in physical privacy masking. That's the uh, little dealio on the top right there that you can basically close the shutter. EPTZ, no mechanical rotating device needed for more accurate rotation accuracy. No noise, more reliable and durable. Supports four times digital zoom. So that is great to see. TOF Focus, equipped with a laser assisted focusing instrument and realized high speed and accurate auto focusing through the advanced audio or auto focusing algorithm. Low illumination mode has a new CMOS image sensor with ultra high SNR that can effectively reduce the image noise under low illumination. The application of 2D and 3D noise reduction algorithms greatly reduces the image noise even under the condition of ultra low illumination. We'll test that out here where I'll turn off the studio lights and see how it looks. Uh, easy installation, standard uh, dampening rotary support compatible with almost 100% of display devices on the market. Easy to install, stable and reliable. And then it just has the uh, specs and whatnot down below. And overall, pretty good there. Uh, installation. Here's where, like I was mentioning, where it can actually sandwich the mount to go on the top of a monitor, which is really, really awesome. And it works not just on like a standard computer monitor, but this will also work for a laptop monitor too. Great to know. So now what we're going to do is we're going to connect this and we're going to hook it up to our OBS um, streaming capture software. We're going to see how the picture quality is, how the audio quality is, and uh, just kind of see how it performs. All right, so here we have the camera and everything all set up uh, back behind my laptop and everything here. And we are recording through the latest version of OBS Studio, which I have 27.2.4 on Windows. And uh, definitely not as sharp as my DSLR is, but it's also less than a tenth of the cost of my DSLR. So let's keep that in mind. I'm also capturing the audio straight on the microphones in there. You might hear some crickets in the background too, maybe a little bit of rumble of thunder. Um, overall, not too bad, a pretty decent image and everything here. Now, the one thing I can do in OBS, uh, and you can't see what I'm working on here, is I can go and I can configure the video where uh, if I want to increase the brightness, I can do that or turn it down. Uh, we are gonna set that to auto. Uh, same thing with the contrast. Uh, hue saturation you know I can I can adjust all those things here uh, in the camera control I can zoom somewhat digitally whoa look at the shine look at that shine uh, we are gonna go to auto on that um, you know we can adjust the focus if we wanted to adjust the exposure um, so we're gonna leave it at where it was at, which is this stage right here. Now, one thing I wanna to do too, we're gonna to actually do a test call here of sorts uh, through Streamlabs, uh, I'm sorry, StreamYards, and we're gonna see how it sounds coming through the camera and how I sound to someone else. So now we are going to welcome to our review here, this, that guy over there in a garage. Uh, it's a man cave. Um, no, it's where trolls go. Trust uh, me, I know because yeah, you would know. I'm a troll. Where do trolls live? Under the stairs. But this is Chris from Game Dad. Chris, how's it going? It goes well, my friend. How are you? Uh, so the reason I want to have Chris on real quick is I wanted to record what the Rockware camera looks and sounds like to someone who has no experience with it whatsoever. Chris, we're using Streamlabs, so for those who are not familiar with Streamlabs, this is something where, like, it's just a video conferencing software, and the beautiful thing, it costs you free 99 That's right, it's Pretty completely much. free, um, and you can have multiple guests on here. If you are into doing streaming content, this is a great tool. This is actually what I use to appear at the um, Mo Game Con a few weeks back when I couldn't go because I had COVID, so... Chris, how's it look? How's it sound on your end? Uh, sounds good. Uh, looks good. I mean, yeah, the quality's nice. There doesn't seem to be any kind of delay or anything like that. My video versus yours. Your now, are you using any kind of uh, front-facing lighting or anything along those lines? Nope. 
So your car looks a little bit more natural. I would say I think the, the red tones are a little bit blown out on me. And we do have, you know, this that we have to hang on. Let me fix this. There we go. There you go. It's yeah. the glitch. You, um, did. you were too shiny. But I will say your audio sounds great. Are you getting any kind of an echo on your end? Because I'm actually using the audio and video coming through the Rockware camera. So it's reliant on any noise cancellation built into the camera itself. Uh, not so much an echo. Uh, there is a little bit like maybe like a reverberation off your walls kind of thing. Uh, but it doesn't this? sound like an echo. Let me do this because what I forgot to do before we started because... I'm not that smart, and I'm wrong about a whole lot of things. I have the air conditioner still going. I'm down in the basement because that's where trolls live is in the basement under the stair. Hey, kiddo. Um, <laughs> does that sound any better? It does. It sounds a little bit better, yeah. Okay. So had the air conditioner going. Good to know that it does pick that up in the background. So, Chris, I want to thank you real quick for uh, popping on here. For those looking to find out more about you, where can they find out about Game Dad? Uh Anywhere on the uh, interwebs at Game Dad Show. Uh, primary thing is YouTube, but on social media and all that stuff as well. And you focus on? Uh, focus on a channel of gaming and tech, whether it's uh, reviews or unboxings or giving my opinion to the masses, whether they want them or not. I Chris, I'm my Game Dad. Thanks for stopping by and helping us out with our Rockware camera review. Of course, you got it, man. So up next is Super Puzzle Fighter 2, and I have been so addicted to this game lately. I don't know why, just something about it. Just, yes, I absolutely love it now. This is basically what it would look like if I were to capture game footage for a review or anything along those lines. I'm going to reposition uh, the main screen there a little bit so that my image here isn't cutting it off. But this is, I just wanted to kind of give you a look at what it would look like, what it would sound like if I was actually um, capturing a game um, to be able to go ahead and play. And I'm going to actually look over here because that's where my monitor is set up. Now with my face looking this way and I'm not looking straight at the microphones too, uh, I'll be interested to see kind of how the audio comes through as I am doing my edits. I will say I'm liking what I'm getting here too for lighting a little bit more, but I'm getting more light from in front of the camera and from this side too. So um, very simple but addicting match three sort of game here is what uh, Super Puzzle Fighter 2 is using the Capcom Street Fighter characters. And I mean, it's just, it's so good. It is so much fun and challenging and it makes me angry and it just keeps me coming back wanting more. And that's what you want a good game to do is, you know, it's good to be frustrated if it keeps that challenge level up but doesn't get you to the point where you're gonna throw your controllers, right? Um, so overall, I have been, like I said, just absolutely digging on this. And I'm thinking that the Rockware camera here will definitely suit my needs for this for doing streams, whether we are, you know, playing a game and capturing over here, uh, if we are, uh, you know, doing poker streams, the Bird of Prey 5 or LGG Pixels or things along those lines. You know, there's, there's a lot to like uh, with the simplicity that this is offering uh, with relatively decent quality uh, and without breaking the bank. That's the other thing is, is the fact that this is, you know, a lot less expensive than, you know, like I mentioned, I have a DSLR, my, my Canon T7i, um, you know, works great, it's beautiful, but sometimes I just don't want to log it out. I just want to be able to set up, shoot, and go, and that's what this promises us to have the opportunity to do. So now I have a ring light behind the camera. It's actually dropped down. I have it hanging off of the back of my monitor itself. I actually think this looks a lot better. Um, it kind of makes me wish that there was some sort of lighting coming off of the front of the camera itself. I know there are some cameras out there like that. But overall, this provides, I think, a pretty decent picture quality. Um, I do have my top light now. My box light is turned off, so it's just the light there, and I have one twin 60-watt bulb lighting fixture on the ceiling. But above and beyond that, what you're seeing is coming straight off, you know, lighting-wise, 
off of a ring light. So overall, I think this is pretty good and something if you are looking to get a setup for doing streaming, video conferencing, teleconferencing, anything along those lines, I think this is a definite camera and audio system that you should consider. It's time for final thoughts. So there you have my look at the Rockware Mini all-in-one video soundbar. What do I think of it? Well, I will say that it has a lot going for you if you are just getting started out. Video quality is very, very good out of this. You're going to get 1080p. So if you are doing streaming, if you are doing video conferencing, things along those lines, it does give you that benefit. Now, with certain platforms, it will limit you to 720p, which this will do without any problem. For example, StreamYard 720p on the free version. You can unlock 1080p if you pay for it, but that's neither here nor there. The speaker quality, I was actually really impressed with. It actually sounded better than I anticipated just out of this little teeny tiny speaker right here. Now, my audio, I thought, sounded a little bit distant when I was speaking with Chris, but it's one of those, it is clear, it's sharp, it's concise, and I think because I'm speaking into a wall, some of that reverberation was coming through on that. Same thing too on the colors where I looked a little bit oversaturated. As you saw, I could play around with some of the settings in Streamlabs and in OBS and change that a little bit too. But for the money, this is something that is definitely worthwhile to check out, especially if you are just getting started. Now, if you want to pick one of these up, I will have a link down below where you can pick one up and it's one of those things that there's no discounts or anything like that it is an affiliate link so if you do purchase it through there it does help support the channel now if you are looking for other videos on chris over at game dad on any other sorts of capture equipment that we've done news reviews game systems and more those videos are coming up for you right now thank you so much for watching this episode if you want to help support Rock Solid Productions and be a part of our community, there's a number of different ways you can do so. First and foremost, join us over on our Patreon page or become a channel member here on YouTube. By joining through either one of those methods, you get early access to just about all of our video content, exclusive content, and a whole lot more. We also give you shout outs at the end of each and every one of our videos. You can also pick up some awesome Rock Solid Productions swag. We've got t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, and more available through our Teespring store on screen right now too. You can also pick up some of our awesome 3D printed cartridge stands, Amiibo holders, Nintendo DS holders, and more by visiting our 3D printer store on screen right now as well. Links for everything will be down below in a pinned comment. If you wanna stay up to date with everything we have going on here at Rock Solid Productions, make sure that you're following us on the different social media networks. We're on Facebook at facebook.com slash Productions, Instagram at instagram.com slash Productions GK, and Twitter at Rock Solid Studios. If you're looking to pick this and other retro and modern gaming accessories up, make sure that you head on over to castlemaniagames.com. He has a feature over there called Castle Cash, where the more you spend, the more you earn towards future purchases, and Castle Cash is just like cash. He also offers convenient payment plans for more expensive items over $50. Finally, make sure that you use promo code ROCKSOLID10 when you're shopping at castlemaniagames.com as it can save you up to 10% on most items on the website. Again, thank you for watching this episode and I cannot wait to see you again soon.